Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Final Fantasy Tactics, and we are... Well, we just finished uh, saving Mustadia, so now we have to go save the princess as well as Agrius. And, yeah, I don't think there's a battle in this particular. I think it's something... I think we see an old friend on a boat. We did just travel across the ocean, so uh, there's got to be something going on, delaying for time with all the old loading. Dude, at least I'm not doing like a Let's Play Final Fantasy V. That is probably one of my favorite games, but the battles take forever. Every random battle, it seems like every three steps you get in a random battle, and it takes forever for it to load up. But anyway, hey, it's our old friend Chocobo. No, oh, he's gone. Hmm. Aha, the leader. We haven't seen him in uh, quite a few battles. Interesting. It's giving us a command. We don't really know too much about stones. We've seen one stone. Um, as far as we know, there's no other stones out there. But we've heard that there's 12 because of the Zodiac Brave story and there's 12 Zodiacs. Of course, in Final Fantasy world, there are 13 um, because they've always seemed to add it add one extra one. Final Fantasy IX did it. I believe they have one extra one in here. I think it's like a secret battle. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. But uh, there's always 12 Zodiacs. Final Fantasy World, 13. <clears throat> so I'm just going against... That's one of the coolest quotes. They're all swept up in the same flow. I'm going against it. I'm doing my own thing. Not worried about what they're doing. However, I am going to manipulate them as best I can. So, we see a little glimpse of Delita, how he is not the same person he was in the very beginning of the game. This is a trade city, so maybe there's some equipment. I did buy some items earlier. There might be like... No, I was going to say there might be like... Uh... Oh, actually it's uh, equipment for these guys. I've got some tough battles coming up. I don't mind equipping these things. Looks like their speed is going to be boosted because of that um, green beret, which is nice. I could even have Mustadio. I'm going to equip them first. But I could equip Mustadio if I wanted to. He is now on my team officially. Oh, look at this. We got an egg. And you can actually... This is a monster egg. What will hatch? Well, because I've only got a chocobo, the only thing that possibly can hatch is a chocobo. Destroy monster egg. What the freaking hell? Boko, you are asexual. You created an egg all by yourself. Oh, Mustadio, you dirty girl. You must be the father. Alright, so, um, I don't think he's equipped with anything. But he does have some powerful abilities in that don't act. And because it hits from so far, that could be useful. Um, for right now, I'm just going to continue as is with my team. I like Mustadio. Um, but I never really used him in, in the game. Let me know what you guys think. Do you want me to use him? Maybe periodically I'll throw him in. Um, characters like that, they can do exactly the same as every other character in the game. Um, have different jobs, different um, abilities, all different same jobs. Everybody can be a ninja, everybody can be a thief, whatever. Uh, but people like Ramza have yell uh, and guts. People like Mustadio have their, um, he's an engineer by trade. Agrius has her holy sword abilities, so um, they can all become something else, but they all have their own traditional abilities too. So it does make him kind of unique. <clears throat> children, children, stop fighting. He doesn't have Avelia right now, does he? Oh yeah, Avelia and Agrius were both left in the Cardinal's um, grasp. Rudvik is the guy who kidnapped Mustadio's father. And there's our good old friend Gafgarion. Ooh. <clears throat> Got two rather tough battles coming up. And then a boss battle. Can definitely be pretty difficult. But you can go to this trade city. Um, I can't equip Agrius with any sort of knights because there's no castles. Once we get to Lionel Castle, 
that's the final battle of the chapter, so. Oh my. Oh man. They have a lot of... It's surprising they don't show things like that, because <clears throat> there are a lot of blood scenes in this game. I'm gonna save just in case. Let's do that one. We'll do the manual save as well. Feels like I'm on PlayStation 1 again. Just in case. I mean, this next battle's not hard. We're gonna see an old friend. Um, but the one after it definitely is. And I just don't wanna, you know, have to do those cutscenes again. Alright, so this is a unique battle in that we have two separate. Uh, I'll leave my chemist over here. Two separate um, starting points. I could use Mustadio, but again, I don't think he's equipped. I'm going to go with the Monk instead. <clears throat> I believe that the first side I just set up is going to be with um, our special friend we're about to see. And the other two are kind of off the side. There's like two enemies over there that they can fight. If you have enough jump, like I did get Ignore Height for, uh, for Ramza. He can actually jump up and down that cliff over there if I put that on him. I didn't. Right now I have to uh, move plus two, I think, on him. But there's Agris. She's back. And uh, she's not with Ovelia, though. I wonder why. A couple of knights. Two knights, two archers, two mages. Freaking love this game. I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough, too. Alright, so yeah, those three are near Agris. Geronimo. What? What? With why? I don't know. So I have to save Agrius. That means that she can't die in this battle. I can actually uh, hit that mage right now. Decent amount. I won't jump just in case he moves. I'll just go out and attack him. And time haste should work from here for both of them. Looks like that was even ground. Oh, not at all. They're both on nine, but, well. Let's just taste him up then. I keep failing in those attempts. Uh, just in case, I want to move a slightly back. This should kill the mage. Huh. Guess I can't hit him. Alright. Archer it is then. Uh, Ramza must be directly in the way. I'm so used to uh, Tactics Advance 2, where I can actually, three, sure, um, where I can actually just like hit pretty far with a gun, <clears throat> and there's doesn't matter how close, who's in the way, it always works. Different games, you can also take back your moves in that one. Like I could have moved here, found out that I wasn't actually going to hit the enemy I wanted to, and then I can just act like it never happened. Start over. Doesn't matter how much it takes off, any damage will do. Mage is traditionally uh, low HP, so if this haste allows me to quicken and go to attack that mage, then I'll be able to finish him off. But Agris might do that for me. And if she does, I might want to jump with Ramsa instead. Oops. going to execute the princess. I think that's the only... Yep, going to take him out. Yeah, I think that's the only dialogue in this battle. Um, boom. As you guys have seen from the beginning, it always shifts my camera down every time there's a battle or any dialogue. <clears throat> Alright, I don't mind that. And I, um, I learned critical quick. What that means is if my time age goes into a critical state, um, which is when the characters are, you know, down on one knee, he will automatically use quick on himself, which gives him his turn right away. So that's going to be nice because maybe I could do one last black magic spell or cast haste on someone else, um, get one last hurrah out of him. It may actually allow him, you know, sometimes the archers will all charge and attack one person. Um, it will allow them to 
uh, bypass the last hit, and then just I can move. And just being able to move might be the big thing that saves me. Alright. Hopefully my monk does... Ooh. Oh, here's critical quick. What the... It didn't work. That's alright. So we're gonna go jump on this guy. Uh, 90 is pretty good. My chemist should be able to. Uh, finish it off. Who's Samson? Probably this guy, right? Yeah. Alright, we'll go over here. Uh, no. I'll go one more. that archer do a little bit damage. I'm gonna have my chemist heal up my time age just in case that uh, Samson Knight decides to throw a rock or something and kill him. I'm gonna save his life. And I've got my... alright. How much is this gonna do? Nothing? What is going on with that? Alright, I'm gonna do that then. And then just have you wait. Maybe you'll get your turn slightly quicker. Have you just kind of uh, punch some dudes. And then move as close as you can to my chemist. So even if he dies, um, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I'll leave my monk alone. That's totally fine. Oops. Ooh, that counter punch. Bitch, don't hit me. <clears throat> I think that Ramza might be able to kill the archer soon. It's probably going to get a pretty quick turn. Death sentence. So that's going to give a countdown if it does apply the status. Uh, which it didn't. But still, her damage is pretty good. So she must have like a bolt, um, crossbow or something, because she did a spell on me. All right, for some reason, the knights in this game refuse to use swords and they just throw rocks all the time. The annoying part about them, though, is that they have such high HP because of their equipment. I think he's gonna hit my monk. I'm sure the spell will be pretty quick. Oh, how cute. You're saving her. Well, she's super dead. It's going to do more damage because she's charging. I anticipate that that damage, it said 200, will go down to like 100, which is still going to be enough to kill her. Yep, he's dead. So I can use my chemist if needed. It's a little bit. Monks don't have that much HP. So that's definitely an annoyance. I was wondering why I couldn't hit it earlier. It might have been slightly too low. Boom! Oh, I love haste in this game. Um, still after Sansom. I'll just use a regular spell. <clears throat> Let's see, I can use this. I can't kill him. Like, just missing everybody. I might not even be able to hit this guy still. Nope. When in doubt, cast haste. Man, that's such a low rate. But if it works, it works. That's cool. You can see them kind of chanting down there. That's pretty cool. Um, 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 um. Kind of like the meat fish. Oh, that's a low rate. 
Got him anyway. I'm gonna start moving towards. I think Agrius and the Time Mage have this all kind of figured out. I'll let Rams just start jumping on people. <clears throat> That's a pretty big hit. There's critical click. I don't know why I didn't do it before. But, there it is. Haste on you. Let's see if that works. So I want Angus to be able to finish off that knight. Um, I want Rams to go finish off the archers and see what else we can do. Eh, five damage too short. <clears throat> I think he's slow enough, and death sentence worked on him, but I think he's slow enough that be able to get another hit in before he moves. Can't counter from that far away. Mage is... He's got plenty of HP. Or MP. He's going to start casting some spells. That looks like a fire 2 or something. No. Just really strong against me. Alright. Time to punch this mage. Damn it. <laughs> Should have known. <laughs> Too high up. Still got two turns until my monk crystallizes. He's kind of, kind of weak. That's not a big deal. I might be able to reach him from here. Just missing. All right, this should kill him. I think jump's gonna land before the archer gets a hit off. I don't really want to take a chance and wait for that crystal to try to learn some skills. I think it would be better because then my monk might actually uh, crystallize and I don't want that. <clears throat> so one of these two is gonna kill this guy. I'm surprised that the mage is the last one that I kill. Um, it's pretty rare that happens. But overall, pretty easy battle. What the f <laughs> It just came out of nowhere. <laughs> well, he had to do his uh, his little speech here. So we have to go to the Golgoran Execution, which is going to change our route. Uh, we're actually not going to go the same way we were going to go. Let's take like a little side route. Echo Grass. Yes, we will definitely add you to the party. Join up. Agris. One of the best characters in the game. <clears throat> I will do my best to not abuse her or Orlando. Yep, so her route changes there. And let's uh, see what Agrius knows. She's probably too weak to help out with this point. She's got some nice equipment though. What's this do? Physical and magic plus one. That's always good. Can't be slowed. I like that. Um, but holy sword ability, she doesn't really know too much. I'd rather give her this to learn stuff quicker. But holy explosion is kind of like the earth, um, uh, earth slash, where it hits pretty far. I think it says it. Vertical of two, four directions. Effect five. I think that means five squares in front of you, and it could confuse them. But what I really like using is the uh, the lightning stab which has a pretty decent vertical. It's better than stasis, which has a zero vertical, which is why it has to be exactly even ground for it to work. I prefer that ability, but lightning stab when I want to do more damage. And this could do death, which is beautiful. But I'm gonna give her um, gain JP up, and then I'll learn some more holy sword abilities for her. Uh, charge is kind of useless, why do you have that? <laughs> why would you ever need to charge? I don't know. Rather you have a, Ugh, you don't really have anything good, but she's gonna be a work in progress. Let's check out while we're here. 
um, the Lancer abilities. Oh, and by the way, um, I'm a Master Monk even though I really haven't been a monk in a while. You still get experience <clears throat> afterwards, which is nice. And then my Lancer. So I learned Ignore Height. No real use for that this battle. The next battle I think I will. <clears throat> Let's get my jump a little bit better. Let's go another vertical. That's going to help out pretty soon. What else we got? Alright, let's learn Wave Fist for you. Um, I'm going to move towards Short Charge. That's going to be pretty nice. Help out with my Black Mage abilities. Auto Potion is what I'm working on there. And Monk... Uh, I would like to learn Earth Flash soon. <clears throat> that way she won't be super useful or useless. Alright guys, next battle, or next episode, we will be going to Golgorand Execution Site. I will see you guys next time.